Ashley, you're chasing what I thought was finished in this state, but nope, apparently not. Another tent city, this time in Clifton. What do you got? I chased under the Ackerman Avenue Bridge in Clifton with our good friend and Passaic River expert, Wheeler Antabanez. Oh my God, this is what we're talking about. He shares this video of who lives under the bridge, men who are migrant workers from Mexico and Latin America. A lot of times people get intimidated when they see homeless people living you know, in conditions like this, but really they're just humans like everybody else. As we speak, Clifton is grappling with how and where to move these people. It's nasty, you know, like it's not a place where you'd want to bring your children on a Sunday to enjoy the pristine river. This place is a landfill out here. There is literally trash, beer bottles, glass, broken furniture. There is just stuff everywhere. City manager Nick Villano shared a copy of the notice they've handed out asking people to relocate and recommending shelters where they could go. He says this move is for everyone's benefit. The place is a dump. There's a homeless camp right there. Anytime you see a blue tarp in the woods, you know, the people sleep in there. He says it's a health hazard for those actually living there, <coughs> and it's becoming a health hazard to Clifton because all the trash is just building up and actually going into the Passaic River. There are just no words. And I've covered a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm going to tell you, I, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything. Well, I'll tell you like this. this. There's a lot more than this. There's more. There's, there's so this isn't even all of it. These all the way up and down the river. The city says they're trying to act in a sensitive manner. Anytime you're talking about moving people, you know, you want to deal with the issue as delicately as possible. But they say right now something must be done. I'm this sure makes that, me sad. Yeah, I'm sure there's. It breaks my heart. I'm sure on both sides of it, there's good arguments, but. The reality of it is, is there's people living down here in these conditions and, you know, we could either ignore that or we could do something to help them. How long have they been here? Did you say? Years. That? Years. Years. Like, why now? Why are the, why is the city now saying, I mean, we gotta do something? hypocrisy, that's why. These people have been failed by the system. A lot of them actually work construction jobs, but rent in New Jersey is the highest in the country. So they are making do. They're staying under this bridge where they can get free rent and they're surviving. It's unfortunate, but who are we to judge? They're just surviving. But it's, it's a dangerous place for a lot of people and there's dioxin in the river. I mean, it's becoming just a hazard. I mean, you say migrant workers, what, what do you mean by that? When I think of a migrant worker, I think of people who come from other countries, they come here and they also, maybe they're living under here to escape from the people who brought them here. Wheeler, who's met many of them, he says these are just men trying to make an honest living and a lot of times they're sending that money back to their countries um, because they're trying to help their families. But if they're sending the money back home, it's their fault that they're homeless.